as pre-calculus, uh, 4.2, number 7 through 18. Um, we're going to deal with ones that look like, like this right here, where we have 3x squared minus 7x plus 1 is greater than or equal to 0. And we're going we're gonna to interpret that what that means and also put our answer in, uh, <coughs> in interval notation form. Okay, so we're going to be needing our calculator, so you might need one to follow along with. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a graph. So I'm going to add a graph. I'm going to type in with an equal sign. So I'm still going to use the, the equal sign here. But I'm going to type in that equation that we had, which was uh, 3x squared minus 7x plus 1. So I'm going to type it in and hit enter. What I'm going to do is now I'm going to remember which inequality sign that I had. And if I go back, I'll remember that it said greater than or equal to 0. So what I'm worried about here is where is this graph greater than or equal to 0 at? And so that's going to be any of the ones up above here. So this is all greater than or equal to 0. This is all greater than or equal to 0. This stuff down here, this is less than 0. So we're not going to care about that. So what I need to know is I want to know where, where is this point right here? Where is this point right here? And we're going to do that with Analyze Graph. So we're going to go Menu, Analyze Graph. We want to find the zero. We want to know where it crosses. Now it gives us this dotted line. We need to sandwich it. So we're going to go on one side and then the other side. And it tells me the zero. I'm going to go ahead and move that zero over here so we can see. So it tells me the zero. It's 0 0.153. That's one of them. I need to do this a second time to get the second zero. So analyze graph, zero. We're going to find it over here as well. So put those, those are my two zeros, correct? All right. So I'm going to use those, and I need to say that anything smaller than or equal to 0.153 or anything greater than or equal to 2.18 is, is a solution to this because what we were wondering was what's greater than. So anything bigger than those two points. So I have one set, two sets of answers. So I come back here. I'm going to write my answers down. So what I need to do is on that left piece, this left piece here, I care about negative infinity, right, because it, it goes completely to the left to negative infinity. So negative infinity all the way up to 0 0.153. So I'm going to say parentheses, negative, ooh, I don't know how to make the infinity sign, so we'll just say infinity, comma, and we go to um, 0 0.153. And we're going to use brackets because it's an or equal to problem. Then I had to say union with another bracket, 2.18, comma, positive infinity. So this is the solution to this inequality there. So to recap, we graphed, we found the zeros, and then we interpreted the inequality sign, and we knew that both parts were above the graph. Okay, That's problems 7 through 18.